I just heard something that really struck me, especially this week, with so many students planning to take the SAT this Saturday, and I know how stressful it can be, and I've already heard from one mom whose daughter is, you know, just in panic mode. And so when I was listening to an audiobook, as I often do when I drive, I heard something and I'm like, I can't wait till I get into the office a little bit later because I may forget this. So while I'm sitting in this parking lot, I want to share it. They were talking about what the difference is between confidence and courage. And, you know, a lot of times we might think they kind of overlap or have diff slightly different definitions, but this was just, it just really struck me, especially as I see students, you know, trying to build their confidence through studying for, te for tests like the ACT, the SAT, you know, doing the reps, so to speak, to build that confidence. Confidence feels good. Confidence is when you know, yes, I have this. This is going to work out. I know what I'm doing. But oftentimes, we need to encourage students to feel courageous. Courageous is when we it doesn't feel good, but we do it anyways. We look at people who, you know, firemen, they rush into burning buildings. It can't feel good, but we look at them and we're like, oh my gosh, they're so courageous. They did the difficult thing. And that difficult thing is what made a difference. And we need to encourage our children that it's okay not always to be confident and to know what the outcome will be. It's okay to face the difficult prospect and be courageous and do it anyways. Join the club that you're not sure if you're going to enjoy. Put yourself out there. Attempt something new. You don't have to be perfect at everything. It's in the long run, so much better that you tried. It's so much better that you experimented, that you went out of your comfort zone, and that you were courageous and brave enough to try something new, and courageous enough to put your best foot forward when taking the test, even if you don't have all the confidence. Don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you're doing right. So I just wanted to share that because I thought that was so brilliant, like never hit me before. Like we really need to encourage children to be courageous, to to step out of their comfort zone. We try so hard as parents, you know, to make things easy for them, to make things, you know, we, we want to fix their problems. But as a life skill, teaching them to be courageous, teaching them to go outside of their comfort zone, teaching them to do the hard things where the payoff is so much greater than the easy things, is really important. So just wanted to share that on this Monday morning. I hope you all have a fabulous Monday morning and I'm hoping for sunshine later today. See you later.